hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel welcome to my video if you're new here my name is leanne and i am going to participate in this wax warmers tour tag that i believe has been started by kim hearts organizing and i've been tagged by the lovely wonderful youtuber steph melts thank you stephanie for tagging me so now i'm going to go ahead and join in and uh, if you want to participate and also give us a tour of your wax warmer setup by all means please don't wait to be tagged i think everyone would enjoy a tour of your wax warmers so um, i hope you're having a wonderful day and happy saturday so Right here, I'm actually in my kitchen island downstairs. So this is where I decided to start this video. I live in a condo, so my home is pretty small. I don't have a ton of warmers um, in my entire home. I only use like five. So this video is probably just going to be very short. Uh, so this one here is in my kitchen island. I have the melted mousse. I think it's called the Grinch face it has like pistachio and some coffee in it and right next to it I have is a tea light warmer that I purchased at Walmart and I have scoopable wax melts a um, monster cookie fluff puffs in here and I like to use these two together just to boost performance or to even blend scents in general that I feel like would complement each other so I typically have a coffee and a bakery going on in the morning downstairs okay so we're gonna move on to our living room area um, and this tea light warmer I have a scoopable wax melt monster cookie fluff puffs and my children is watching a movie right now because it is Saturday morning and everyone is up and awake. In this TV stand here, I uh, have a Julianne warmer that I absolutely love. It's my favorite warmer. You can purchase it off Amazon. It's, t it's a hot plate and it comes with different settings on it and uh, have tea light candles right next to it. And so that's actually it for my downstairs area i typically have four warmers going on in this area and i feel that is pretty plenty i'm satisfied with the with the um performance it gives me for this downstairs area i get pretty good performance but i love tea light warmers and hot plates just because i prioritize the scents uh, performance more than anything i absolutely love light warmers but i don't get the greatest performance out of them unfortunately so i just stick to hot plates and tea light warmers so moving on to this master bedroom here we are i have in this corner is my nightstand and this is another julianne hot plate warmer that i love and in here i have Candles by Victoria. Let me just pull it out here. Candles by Victoria. Luna type. It's a very like floral clean scent. Um, but as it warms on, I notice it gets a bit more perfumey. Okay, and now we're going to move on to my bathroom here. Um, so this is actually the last of my warmers. It's in this bathroom. And uh, I got this light warmer from Walmart. It's like a Himalayan salt light warmer. And I love the aesthetics of this. But I also had a Sensi light bulb warmer that doesn't perform as well as this one. So I just kept using this one. And this one stays in my bathroom. I also have candles by Victoria Luna going on in here. Okay, so I have like about typically every day five warmers going on at a time and so this video is going to be pretty short. If you want to participate, just go ahead. Don't wait to be tagged. 
I think everyone would enjoy seeing your wax warmers and setup. And so the people that I will be tagging are Myla, uh, Nikki from Nikki's Wax Diaries, um, Bunny Sun, and Etta. So you guys have been tagged, but uh, if you want to participate, go ahead and show us a tour of your wax warmers. I think it would be fun to watch. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and have a great weekend and I will see you in my next one. Bye!